they admire how you embrace your feelings. See, most people are in tune with themselves. They're not in touch with what's really going on deep down inside. That emotional intelligence that you gain through going through hard times, the emotional intelligence that you gain through or Jesus taking you through ups and downs has been essential to your growth. It's been essential to you helping others, right? It's been essential to you moving and navigating in a way that pleases Lord Jesus. See, when you're able to be in tune with yourself, you're able to help others because you know how they felt, not based off speculation, but based off experience. And when you're in tune like this, you're able to change the world because instead of asking and guessing how somebody feels, you've already been in their shoes, so you know. Instead of assuming, you've already experienced it, so you can give them detailed advice on how to grow and how to overcome your situation, you see. And because every situation that you've ever experienced you've overcame, not just for the sake of overcoming, but for the sake of building those tools to help others overcome. This has made you royalty. This has made you a king, bro. This has made you a queen, sis. Because many people do things and they teach things and they help people in certain ways. But without that deep connection, it doesn't really do it with that extra cherry on top, right? Without that deeper understanding and that deeper bond that you build with people when they know that you have gone through what they've gone through, when they know that you have experienced what they've experienced, when they know that you have felt what they have felt. See, when you have this bond, it allows you to pull people closer to the kingdom of God because they can identify with you and you're not trying to play perfect. You're not trying to act like you've never experienced this or felt that or gone through this so that you could keep your image up, so that you can keep your mask on, right? So that you can keep others feeling like you're better than them in a sense or like you're higher than them in a sense. And, you know, it can feed your sense of pride See, you don't move like this. You'll put yourself in any situation you need to put yourself in that Lord Jesus calls you to, to help others, right? Whatever position that you need to go through, whether it's low or high, you're humble enough to go through and you're humble enough to express yourself to others about what you have gone through to help them. And this only comes from an emotionally intelligent person. This only comes from an honest man or woman of God, a man or woman of character. And this is what you have chosen ones. And this character is elevating your life. This character is elevating others' lives even without you knowing it because people are paying attention to you. People are following you in the sense only because you have the Holy Spirit. So they're following Lord Jesus. They're following the Most High God. And he's using this as an advantage to let people know they're understood because for so long, many people have asked, well, does God understand what I'm going through? Does he hear me? Does he understand my feelings? Does he know what I need? Is he going to send somebody that has the wisdom to help me, right? Is he going to answer my prayers? Or the load's going to lighten up as far as pressure, lack of wisdom, lack of knowledge, you know, uh, internalizing emotions and breaking down in a sense because you have all these emotions that you don't know how to deal with, right? And this is why he gives us what he gives us and he shows us what he shows us, not just for play play, 
and not just for fun, but to where it can make a difference. And every day I wake up and go hard to make a difference. And so do you, chosen ones. You've been making a great difference from how you carry yourself to how you treat others to how you move about your everyday life. It's pleasing God. It's making him proud. See, how you treat people goes a long way. Whether you know it or not, you may encounter a lot of people and feel like, oh, this is just another encounter. Or that's just another encounter. But as you move through the day, you're making people's day. <laughs> as you move through the day, you're inspiring people. As you move through the day, you're helping people. Why? Because you know what it feels like to not be helped. You know what it feels like to be overlooked. You know what it feels like to be abandoned or mistreated. You know what it feels like to have things on your chest or have, you know, feelings or just different things that you need to get off your mind. Not in the sense you need a shoulder to cry on, but you just need to express yourself, right? But in these times, you had nobody. In these times, all you had was Lord Jesus, the most high God. All you had was the Holy Spirit and you still kept pushing, you still kept moving, you still kept inspiring others. You didn't let that lack of support or lack of, you know, worldly love hold you back from being who you were designed to be or embracing your feelings, right? And for the men out there, I'm not saying this in like, an emotional way to where you should just be like, boo, hoo, 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 I feel like this, I feel like that. But you shouldn't internalize things and you shouldn't feel like, oh, I don't care about that. I don't care about that. When we all know that if you have to say you don't care more than once and you say it twice, bro, you really care because <laughs> I've been there before, right? Whether it's your dad not being there for you and you guys get a relationship later on in time. And you're acting like, oh, well, he wasn't there for me in my childhood, so I don't care about that. I don't care about Bro, yeah, you do, right? Your mom or whatever, oh, I don't care about that. I don't care. Bro, yeah, you do. It's better to just admit that you care, even if you guys may be on separate terms or you guys may be on good terms and you guys are just having a little, whatever the case may be, right? Admit that you care. That way you can overcome the problem that you need to overcome. There's nothing wrong with admitting that you care and saying, hey, I may have been wrong or, hey, I do care, but they may have been wrong and we may not have to talk or I do care, but let me call them up and you feel me? But it's embracing that you care. You're dealing with a woman. You're dealing with somebody that has your child. You're dealing with this or that. Don't try to sit up there and act like, oh, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Sometimes you got to call and be vulnerable. Sometimes you have to call and express yourself, bro. Life is not always promised. And even every day that is promised, you don't want to live it with regret because you're not expressing yourself trying to, yeah, I don't care. I don't care, bro. That's how you lose things. Trust me. From my experience, that's why I don't carry myself like that. If I have something in my mind, I express it. Not with desperation. Not like I'm like, oh, I need this. I need that. Or I'm saying something with the expectation of somebody doing something. But I'm going to put myself out there because I understand how life works. And I understand the results that you get from, oh, I don't care, I ain't tripping, I ain't gonna. No, when you really dig deep, you do feel strongly enough to say you don't care more than once, to mumble about it and, oh man, well, this or that, da da da. Just get it off your chest in a way to where you understand that there's feelings and emotions that come with life. The more you embrace it, the more you can break it down and make wise decisions. The more you ignore how you feel, the more you're going to be subconsciously self-destructing, the more you're going to be sabotaging things away from your life because people are really thinking you don't care, but it's just a defense mechanism because so many people have hurt you. But now is the season to admit and embrace how you feel, even if things don't go the way that you feel like they should go, or even if things don't go you know, towards the typical expectation you don't express yourself to control life. You express things to get things off your chest to where you can live life with no regret. It could go this way or it could go that way. But the key to life is living with no regret and saying, hey, I got that off my chest. 
the ball is in their court. The ball is in their court, right? But you're not going to have that burden on your chest, that guilt on your chest, that heaviness on your chest from unforgiveness, from pride, from ego, from holding grudges, right? From burdening yourself down with things that you don't need to burden yourself down with. That's why Lord Jesus tells us to give all of our burdens to him. That's why he tells us not to stress or worry and to love on others because he understands how life works. A lot of people's pain is emotional pain and the emotional pain comes from not embracing their emotions, not admitting how they feel even with God. People will not necessarily lie to God, they will lie to God, but they'll withhold things from God regarding how they feel, thinking, oh, God will understand this, God will understand that. How am I going to explain to God I feel this way or that way? God already knows. He just wants to hear you say it because you're not a robot. He can't plug a cord into you and just download all of your feelings and say, hey, this is how you're feeling. I just want to talk to you about it. It wouldn't be a relationship at that point, would it? <laughs> It would be a control. You know what I'm saying? It would be like, oh, uh, I robot. That's what they call it, right? I robot, right? With Will Smith in it, right? Where everybody's just controlled. And that's not the case. So, because he wants us to be close to him, he wants us to be sound minded, physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, all around the board, right? We have to be forthcoming with him. And you notice the more that you're forthcoming with him, the more confidence you'll build to be forthcoming with others, right? Because people can't hurt you when you're being true to yourself. People can't damage you when you're already whole, right? And you can't damage yourself when you're not walking around with regret. You can't damage yourself when you're not walking around, not embracing yourself because internal is one of the biggest parts of yourself. Mentally is the biggest part of yourself. And what are feelings? Feelings are something that can throw you off mentally. What are feelings? Feelings are something that can distract you mentally, right? What are feelings? Feelings are something that can slow you down mentally. So in order to be successful, in order to be on your purpose, in order to accomplish what God has for you. Not only do you have to have your feelings in check to where you're burying them, burying them, burying them, that's not having them in check, but you have your feelings in check, or have your feelings where they need to be, in your headspace where it needs to be, by embracing it, even if it takes you a couple of hours in the morning of sitting down with God, sorting everything out. I was stressing about this, I'm going to give it to you. I was stressing about that, we got this going on, I'm going to give it to you. I was stressing about that, you told me to do this, okay, I'm going to give it to you. This is how I feel about this. It's a little stressful, or it's a little confusing, it's outside of my control. I'm going to put it in your hands, Lord. This is how you wake up and have peace. This is how you wake up and receive answers to your prayer throughout the day that involve you feeling a certain way, that involve you trying to understand certain situations that are beyond your understanding. And just like anything that's beyond your understanding, it can stagnate you and have you thinking about it all day if you don't give it to God, right? It can stress you and have you anxious if you don't, you know what I'm saying, let that go and move forward and focus on things that actually matter. But you can't tell a person when they're feeling a certain type of way, whether it's good, bad, or different, that their feelings don't actually matter. And this is why we're sorting this conversation out now. It does matter in the moment. This is why God tells you, give your burdens to him. Because it does get too much. This is why a lot of people walk around negative, angry, mad, anxious. And they're happy to rub that energy off on you, chosen ones, by looking at you all funny type of ways, talking all depressive, being all negative, right? Why is that? Because... They didn't get certain things in check, so they're rubbing them off on others. They didn't receive the emotional intelligence to deal with how they feel, not by themselves, 
but dealing with it with the most high God. So even if it's subconsciously, they're burdening others versus helping others. They're giving people stress versus helping people with their stress. And this is what you have learned how to do the opposite of, right? You didn't have anybody to give your stress. Even when you were stressed, you were helping people. Now you overcame all these things. You have so much knowledge. And what are you doing? You're helping people. Mm -hmm. And this is why you're where you're at today. And this is why you're going to continue to elevate. This is why you've been feeling that deep sense of peace and confidence, right? And great communication skills and protection and love and harmony. And it doesn't get much realer than that. And it all comes from the source. See, Lord Jesus will never fail us. He'll never abandon us. The Most High God will never mislead us. He'll never put us in stressful situations just for the sake of doing it. He's always going to allow the Holy Spirit to minister to us, to help us, to give us the understanding and the wisdom that we need to deal with everything that we have going on, to deal with anything that we have stressing us or worrying us. All we have to do is bring them to the table, right? With a sound mind, not complaining, not murmuring, not, you know, feeling like, oh, you're unthankful or ungrateful. Just calmly and respectfully getting things off your chest and letting God know how you feel. Same thing with people. Calmly and respectfully getting things off your chest and letting people know how you feel. You don't have to be extra emotional with it. Just because it's emotions don't you doesn't mean you have to be like extra emotional, right? Don't be out here scaring people, bro. <laughs> Adam, Adam, don't be out here scaring people, bro. <laughs> I'll be seeing you in the comment section, bro. You know it's all love, though, bro. I'm just playing with you. But I'm not playing, bro. Don't be out here scaring people, my guy. <laughs> Adam's funny. But, yeah. Express how you feel in a calm, respectful, humble way and watch how far it goes. Express how you feel in a way that is gentle with others because you've been through the same situations and the same, you know, emotions and watch how far that goes, right? Especially when you start talking about how you feel or dealing with other people's feelings and helping them. You can't do it with the attitude, bro. <laughs> you can't do it with the attitude, sis. And you have understood this. You get this. And this is why people take to you. Nobody wants to express themselves in a world where a majority of people don't care. Let's just keep it a bug, right? Nobody wants to express themselves in a world where a majority of people don't want to hear it. And they're not being understood. They're not really being reciprocated. They're not receiving, you know, the help or the guidance that they need. And on top of that, you have an attitude with them. On top of that, you're making them feel like a burden. On top of that, you're making it seem like you've never gone through what they've gone through just because you overcame it. And now you feel like you're better than people. And this doesn't please God. And you haven't done these things. So you have continued to please God. You have continued to receive blessings. He's continued to multiply your anointing and multiply your power in the kingdom of God to do great things, multiply your wisdom in the kingdom of God to understand great things inside and out. So keep up the good work. Keep doing what you need to do. If you know you're going to continue to head in this same direction and continue to serve Lord Jesus in a monumental way, don't you be afraid to hop down in that comment section and say it. Lord Jesus will always give me the discernment and emotional intelligence that I need to help others. In Jesus, my name, I pray. I love you guys. Make sure you guys have down there, join the membership program. Make sure you guys have down there, like this thing up, share this thing up, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button.